table center pieces here at the Flower Factory. I'm joined by Christina. She is the owner here at the shop. Now, before we get into uh, the, the center pieces, because mm -hmm. I'm really interested to see how you can transform this mason jar, which a lot of people have lying around at yep. home, into this lovely centerpiece. Where did your passion for flowers come from? Well, um, back in 96, I took a floral program at Algonquin in mm -hmm. Ottawa, and it's a year program, and you have co-op. I was able to go to a really great shop in Ottawa, Mug yeah. Mulligan's Florist on Baseline, and it just kind of started from there. And I was there for eight years, and um, I came back to Renfrew. Because yeah. you were born and raised in Renfrew, Born and right? raised in Renfrew, yep. Yeah. And uh, I moved back here with my kids, and I wanted to open up a flower shop, so here I am. Mm -hmm. It's open in April. Mm -hmm. And the Flower Factory is just off of uh, Main Street here in uh, Renfrew, just hidden kind of uh, between Plant and uh, and Maine. I guess it would be Raglan. Raglan Street, Raglan. Yeah. Okay. Without further ado, okay. how are we going to transform <laughs> this, this mason, mason jar? jar? Okay. So everybody, I'm sure, has jam finished at mm -hmm. home. Just make sure you get it nice and clean. Um, the other thing is, it's very imperative to put flower food in it. Mm -hmm. You put your flower food and Sarah, if you can just touch it, it's very warm water. Why? Why is that important? Okay. When you get your flowers, um, there's air pockets whenever you, they take them out of the bucket. Yeah. So you put really warm water, you recut your stems, and it actually quickly hydrates the flower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So recut cold, the stems. Too. Yeah. Um, cold water will not go quickly up the stem. Yeah. So very, very warm, almost baby bath temperature, like really, really warm. Okay. So, what okay. kind of flowers are we working with? Okay. So we're gonna work with some Geraldine. Um, roses and I just love the fact when people tell me that roses don't last very long and it is totally untrue. Why, they, Why they, would they think that then? Well the thing is people um, tend to leave a lot of the stems on it or the, mm. the, the leaves on it. Take as much as you can off mm -hmm. and the other thing is too yes I know that long stem roses are beautiful. Mm -hmm. You cut them down short and I guarantee you these will probably last about two to three weeks on your kitchen table. Why does the, the stem length make the a length, difference? The longer it takes to travel up Okay. Um, and the last thing that gets it is the head. Mm -hmm. So if you cut them down short. Um, Martha Stewart like <laughs> um, they, they just last much longer okay, okay? okay. so we're gonna use some of that and to fill it up I'm gonna use some dusty Miller it's just a nice contrast with the the nice soft Perfect. gray okay and a couple stems of pink ranunculus okay, okay. now we only have about 45 seconds left okay so is there anything I can do to help you no you just stand back and watch okay I'm <laughs> <laughs> Watch you work, eh? Yeah. And now you also mentioned that an alternative to the mason jar could be a bowl, a cereal bowl that you have at home. Yep. And you filled it with some of the, these little accent rocks. Yep, you just fill it up with um, with warm water, mm -hmm. and which we'll do. And you just stick a nice orchid just like that. Very nice. simple, done. very yep. pretty. Simple, done. And how done. long is an orchid actually going to last you at home? <sighs> you can have them last up to four weeks really? in water. Yep. Yeah. yeah. As long as you put in that plant food, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So now we're putting in our roses. Yep. Oh, so it's mostly just about what you feel. Yeah. Just kind of put in what you think looks nice. Well, I like having different textures, different colors. Yeah. Um, not a whole pile. I love working with monochromatic. Monochromatic is higher impact whenever you walk in the room. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're Christine is also an done. expert at home accent pieces, so we'll put together a couple of those and a really fun bouquet. That's all coming up a little bit later in the show here from at the Flower Factory. Mm -hmm.